share something with you. Um, I've been real sick for a while and um, finally feeling like actually sharing something. But um, someone had asked me a while back while I was sick to uh, share this again and to put it back up. But I can't remember their names. I wish I could. I would tag them in this. But um, I'm going to share it in honor of my mother who was gone a year March 1st. Um, I hope it'll bless you. It's our time in history. The paradox of our time in history is that we have taller buildings, but shorter tempers, wider freeways, but narrow viewpoints. We spend more, but have less. We buy more, but enjoy less. We have bigger houses, but smaller families, more conveniences, but less time, more degrees, but less sense, more knowledge, but less judgment. More experts, yet more problems. More medicine, but less wellness. We drink too much, smoke too much, spend too recklessly, and laugh too little. We drive too fast, get too angry, stay up too late, get up too tired, and read God's Word too little. We watch TV too much and pray too seldom. We've learned how to make a living, but not a life. We've added years to life, but not life to years. We've been all the way around the world and back, but we have trouble crossing the street to meet a new neighbor. We've conquered outer space, but not inner space. We've cleaned up the air, but polluted the soul. We've conquered the atom, but not our prejustice. We write more, but learn less. We plan more, but accomplish less. We learn to rush, but not to wait. We built more computers to hold more information and to produce more copies than ever. But we communicate less and less. These are the times of fast food and slow digestion. Big men, but small character. Steep profits, but shallow relationships. These are the days of two incomes, yet more divorces. Fancier houses, but broken homes. These are the days of quick trips, disposable diapers, throwaway mortality, one-night stands, and pills that can do everything from cheer to quiet to kill. It's a time when there's much in the showroom window, but nothing in the stockroom. It's a time when technology can bring you this message. And a time when you can choose to either share this insight or just hit delete. So just remember, spend some time with your loved ones because they won't be around forever. Remember to say a kind word to someone who looks up to you in awe because that little person will soon grow up and leave your side. Remember to give a warm hug to the one next to you because that's one treasure you can give from your heart that doesn't cost you a cent. Remember to say I love you to your partner, to your loved ones. But most of all, when you say it, mean it. A kiss and embrace will mend a hurt if it comes from deep down inside of you. So remember to hold hands and cherish the moment. Because someday, that person won't be there. Mm. Take time to read God's Word. Mm. Take time to pray. Mm. Take time to speak. Mm -hmm. Take time to love. Mm -hmm. And take time to share the precious thoughts of your mind. For our life is not measured by the breaths that we take, but by the moments, the moments that take our breath away. May God bless you. I love you all, but most important of all, God loves us. God bless you.